Hi there, my name is Vadim Pavlov, I am a senior technical marketing engineer at Infoblux and today we will speak about integration with Tenable Security Center. On Infoblux site we use outbound API feature and send notification via REST API on Tenable site. Basically, if we have IPM or DNS security event, we execute a simple JSON template which makes API calls to Tenable and back to NIOS. Using this uh, outbound API feature, we implemented two basic use cases, asset management and automated DNS security events remediation. Let's see how the integration was configured. On Tenable side, we have to create two assets static IP list and static DNS name list. For the list we have to specify default IP address and default domain, otherwise Tenable will not allow us to save the assets. Also we have to create an active scan with a on-demand schedule which will be used for our scans. On Infoblox site we have to upload session template, login logout template and also assets and scan templates. A template is a simple JSON file which implement integration logics and make calls to Tenable and NIOS. Next step is create an outbound API endpoint. The endpoint configuration consists of URL and credentials for Tenable and NIOS. Also, we have to specify a session management template which will be used for login and logout. After that, we have to create notifications for events we are interested in. Basically, a notification is a link between the target outbound API endpoint, an event, in this case RPZ event, and also a template. On notification level you can specify event filtering and also deduplication. The templates use several extensible attributes to adjust the integration workflow and some of them also contains internal tenable IDs like this one. To simplify the demo, I added the extensible attributes on network view level. Let's see how it works. First of all, I want to add IPv4 network. The extensible attributes are inherited from the network view level and for this specific use case I want to synchronize this network with Tenable and I will change this attribute from false to true. After a few seconds if the update list you can see that IP ID and host ID extensible attributes were updated and after that sync time was updated. So basically we synchronized internal IDs from Tenable and we synchronized the network with Tenable. So in the static IP list you can see a new network. We also support IPv6 and the integration allow us to synchronize IPv6 networks and IP addresses with Tenable. But because IPv6 network is huge, we will not synchronize it with, with Tenable. In this case we can just check the IP ID and host ID and when we add an IP address we will not make additional calls to Tenable because we already do have ID for these assets. We will not change any extensible attributes and you can see that we inherited 
with IDs from the network level. So after a while we updated only sync time and the execution time uh, was less than previous time. And you can see on Tenable we added the IPv6 address. For the dot fifty three we will add it as a new host with a DNS name. We have uh, an extensible attributes which modify the template behavior and if we have a host with a host name we will synchronize it by a host name with Tenable. So you can see IB static DNS asset list was updated with a new domain name. When the asset was added to Tenable, the template can request vulnerability scan or discovery scan. By RPZ hit or DNS tunneling event, we can request Tenable to scan the asset. In Tenable, you can see information about the security event and which domain was blocked on Infoblox. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any question regarding the integration or regarding outbound API in general, please contact me on our community website, community.infoblox.com.